full of boring marketing misfits. Get ready for the ride of your life with Dean Holland in The Drive. and welcome to another episode of The Drive here on this glorious morning here in the UK. Uh, we had a really uh, late night, quite a late night again in the office uh, last night. Been doing, I've been running uh, a boot camp all week uh, with our um, certified partners, basically teaching them and going through um, our brand new traffic system that's called Fuel. It's basically a completely revolutionary approach to driving traffic and doing online advertising to get prospects, leads, and sales. Um, um, so today, I want to talk about uh, emails. So right now, when I get into the office, one of my big kind of jobs that I'm working on today, and probably for the next few days at least, is... Uh, writing email sequences for our new sales funnel. So, um, mainly what I'm going to be focusing on is the customer sequence. So, what happens, what gets sent out to a customer, what events take place to a new customer once they've ordered our upcoming new training called the Perfect Offer. So, I want to give some advice actually because I study a lot to do with email, copywriting um, and, and all things like that because ultimately your ability to get somebody to take an action based on the written word is probably one of the most valuable skills you could ever learn. You know, somebody, you know, there's a famous saying, when you can learn to sell, you'll never go hungry. You know, and obviously, a huge part, a huge asset, or one of the most valuable assets in any successful internet-based business is your email list. And so having the ability to develop rapport and build trust and build a, a, develop a relationship with your subscribers, with your customers, that is one of the keys to having you know, a successful business, you know, positive cash flow when you've got customers. And so I wanna give you a good tip here because this is one of the things that I'm kind of weaving into all of my emails or all of this campaign is this particular tactic, this particular strategy. So <clears throat> the whole purpose being here is that when we've got a new customer in our business and on our email list, we want to engage with that person. We want to almost, when we first get them on our list, set the scene, engage with them, and have them basically looking forwards to receiving our emails. You know, a lot of people, they write their emails and they're very generic, they're very boring, they're very monotone. You know, they're very neutral almost. And one of the best things that you can do with your audience is to be polar, you know, polarized. I'm not talking about, you know, you've got kind of this scale, you've got like boring on one side, and then you've got completely ridiculous and unbelievable and crazy, and then you wanna be kind of somewhere in the middle where you're polarizing, you're not afraid to speak your mind, you're being yourself, you're, you're letting your audience actually get to know you. So I wanna share this strategy of how I get people or how I have my audiences, my subscribers, through my automated email follow-ups that we've got, that we're building into our autoresponder sequences, how you get people to keep opening your emails, how you have people literally waiting, excited, looking forward to the time that your name shows up in, your, in their email inbox. It's one of the most important things that you could do right now because you're fighting for the attention of the inbox. So, <clears throat> what we do, I call them cliffhanger campaigns, okay? Now what a cliffhanger campaign is, you know on your, if you ever watch any TV shows, any, you know, soap operas or any, any kind of TV shows that's on, let's say once a week or once a month, you know, once every, you know, few days, you know, twice a week, 
you'll notice that these TV shows are the absolute best at doing this. Okay, so let's just say you're watching a TV show and it's approaching a commercial break, okay? So the, um, the infomercials are about to come on at, at kind of like the midway point of the TV show. You'll notice that there's always something that happens that makes you not want to leave the sofa. So it might be something like, it might say like, oh my gosh, look what he's doing over there. And then like, it cuts to the ads. And it's like, you're left as a viewer thinking, what is he doing over there? I, I can't, the brain has to complete the picture, right? So it's like, you can't go anywhere you, because you fear missing what's coming up because they've, they've left you with this cliffhanger. They've left you with this kind of open loop. And that's what it's actually called. It's actually called opening the loop. And so this is what we do with our emails. So we'll say something like, so we'll have this email and we'll say whatever we're saying in the email, but throughout that email, or even sometimes right towards the end, we'll drop a cliffhanger in there. So we'll say something like, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe what happened to me yesterday. It involved, um, it involved a video camera, a crazy lady, and a mailman. I'll tell you all about it in tomorrow's email for now check out this and it, like that's maybe not the great world's greatest example there but can you see what I mean that <clears throat> I've opened this loop I've dropped this cliffhanger it's like the curiosity in that person's mind now that's reading this <clears throat> is already <clears throat> is consuming the email that you've just written but now they're also awaiting the next email so they can find out what on earth happened so then the next email arrives and it's like so, I mentioned telling you about what happened the other day. So here's what, here's what took place, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll open another loop. You know, we'll drop another cliffhanger. You know, and we keep opening these loops. Sometimes we open a loop for longer than one day. So we might say in one email, something like, oh, the craziest thing just happened to me when I went to the store. I was there in line and there's these two people in front of me and it absolutely went wild and you're not gonna believe what they, what they did to me. I looked an absolute mess by the end of it. I'll tell you more about it over the next few days. But for now, I just wanna mention X, Y, Z. So we kind of open these loops where it's always like the person is eagerly awaiting the answer to that loop that you opened up. And I call them cliffhanger campaigns. And so what I'm about to write today is a sequence of cliffhanger campaigns that what our new customers, when they come in through this new sales funnel, will start receiving where I'm giving value, I'm getting them to take necessary actions, I'm sending them things and directing them places that I want them to go to ascend them up my sales funnel through my line of products, but in doing so as well, so that they enjoy reading my emails, so that they don't feel like I'm just selling to them because that's not my intention. My intention is to educate, build trust, develop rapport, and of course, ascend people up my sales funnel, you know, but do so in a way that's fun, that's engaging, that's entertaining, that has them looking forwards, as I say, to when my emails land in their inbox. So I'm not just another one of those guys. Instead, I'm that guy that they're excited to receive messages from because they're getting so much value, but they're also just loving reading my emails because they're entertaining, they're engaging, and they're doing this cliffhanger approach where they can't wait to see what happens next. It's like a, a soap opera, a movie, a TV show. You know, your favorite TV shows. Always start to monitor. If you do watch TV, every time before a commercial comes on, the ad breaks come on, or every time at the end of the show, when you know there's another one in the next few days or the following week, always start to notice because these tricks that you pick up will be killer for your email copywriting. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. That is the cliffhanger campaign approach for emails. Um, so it's time for me to get in the office and uh, start writing. So with that said, I shall see you in another episode of The Drive. Take care, have a great day. This is Dean Holland signing out.